This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on Prime Minister's visit to Kedarnath. The participants are Sheikh Harayar, political analyst, and Vinay Kumar, journalist. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today offered prayers at the Kedarnath Shrine in Uttarakhand and also inaugurated a statue of Adi Shankarachari, which is a rebuilt samadhi of the 8th century seer who had attained moksha at Kedarnath. The Prime Minister also inaugurated numerous redevelopment projects at Kedarnath, which are worth over rupees 400 crores. The Himalayan temple had witnessed heavy destruction during the devastating deluge of 2013. And Prime Minister Modi personally reviews the progress of Kedarpuri reconstruction, which is considered to be his dream project. At Kedarnath, today while addressing the gathering, the Prime Minister said that after the 2013 destruction, an inner voice had told him that Kedarnath will be redeveloped again. Shikhar, if we see this development projects which the Prime Minister inaugurated today and also laid foundation stones of several other projects which will be taken up soon for the redevelopment of Kedarnath, which include facilitation center for the tourist, police post, several other facilities. And Kedarnath is one of the most revered ancient shrines of the Hindu. It's a desire of a devout to visit Kedarnath and Badrinath at least once in their lifetimes. So looking at the significance of these development projects at Kedarnath, now what is your assessment? Well, Kedarnath is a very, very important spiritual center for millions of Indians. And Kedarnath has been a challenge in terms of uh, for every pilgrim to reach there. That place has seen landslides, flood and so many things. And for the Prime Minister, you know, this is the spiritual side of his personality. Kedarnath has been drawing him right from his younger years. So we have seen Prime Minister going there first when he was Gujarat Chief Minister when in 2013 when floods came suddenly and so many devotees became martyrs in that situation. And since then, Kedarnath has been dear to the Prime Minister's heart and we have seen when he became Prime Minister, he has been keeping Kedarnath projects as a priority in his mind, particularly improving the connectivity there, creating facilities for devotees, and also to create a kind of infrastructure that will protect Kedarnath from future landslides and floods. That is why the projects that have been inaugurated today and more projects which are in the pipeline are essential to restore the glory of Kedarnath and to also facilitate easy access for so many people. For particularly the importance can be understood for those who are devotees of Lord Shiva that Kedarnath is one of the 12 Jyotir Shivlings in this country. That is why today's function when the Prime Minister inaugurated the Adi Shankaracharya statue, it was shown live at all other 11 Jyotir Ling centers in the country. And along with that, at the Shankaracharya Mats, whether it is Sringeri, Puri, or Jyotir Mat, or Dwaraka. And also it was shown or seen by people in different temples, whether it is Banaras, Kashi Vishwanath, or other places, or Ujjain. So the new facilities which will come up, you know, like shelters, facilitation centers, and also houses for the priests there, which will be weatherproof so that they can, you know, withstand some of the adverse climatic conditions in this shrine. So definitely it's a very, very turning point or a milestone for millions of devotees of Lord Kedar and Kedar Baba as they is fondly called. And uh, the importance can be understood from the fact that Adi Shankaracharya, the 8th century, he is one person who traveled by foot, born in Kerala, in Kaladi, in Kerala. He traveled across the length and breadth of the country, rejuvenating Hindu dharma, rejuvenating Sanatana dharma in, in his own special way and purging lot of practices which were not considered healthy or in keeping with the Sanatana dharma's precepts. That is why Adi Shankaracharya stands out as a very important personality. Today the Prime Minister said, what is the definition of Shankara? The Shankara means a person who can do Kalyan for everybody. That is how Adi Shankaracharya also stood out as a personality. Shikhar, Prime Minister also announced that a ropeway will be built to Hemkund Sahib, which is also a very, very sacred shrine for the Sikh community. And Prime Minister said that this decade belongs to Uttarakhand, as in the next 10 years, the state will receive more than more tourists than it did in the last 100 years. 
road connectivity to char dhams and rope way near hemkund sahib are among many infrastructure projects planned for the state this prime minister announced and one more thing he said which stood out in his speech that uh, india is able to meet its challenges it can never remain oblivious to the deadlines of such projects and he cited examples of the ram temple which is being constructed in ayodhya and deepotsav which was celebrated there on the occasion of diwali and the work on kashi vishwanath corridor projects in varanasi is also progressing rapidly prime minister mentioned this and his stress on this shows that india is ready for these projects and another thing shikhar which comes to mind is that in this himalayan state of uttarakhand we have seen this kedarnath function came very closely after glasgow conference on climate change and we know that you know hilly states have very fragile ecology so the, we have to also keep an eye on preserving the environment preserving the pristine purity of the state and going ahead with the development projects which are crucial for the state exactly vinay ji because one of the challenges of you know development in uttarakhand you know in order to fully get to the potential of that state in terms of tourism in terms of development in terms of you know welfare for the people ecology has to march along with the development that is the cornerstone of the policy of this government towards the development of these you see the very fact that these projects became necessary because for pilgrims to go there for the devotees to go there they need access and generally you know places like badrinath and kedarnath are inaccessible for people who have reached certain age because normally for old people it is very difficult to go there that is why projects like you know cable car connectivity whether it is hemkund sahib or even to kedarnath this is a kind of project that will help particularly the elderly people who are that stage of life where they would like to have a darshan of kedarnath or badrinath in a more easy way because that is the biggest uh, challenge for many people who feel that it is very difficult for them to trek you know 14 kilometers and from the last point after which cars can go and then from there to you know walk it is not so easy that is why the whole idea is that should be development and this development will bring a lot of growth in uttarakhand because uttarakhand today faces a situation which the prime minister mentioned in his address today that young people of uttarakhand are leaving the hills and coming to plains more in numbers in search of jobs so therefore the government wants that such project should be taken up which takes care of ecology but at the same time gives opening to these young people once there is a growth of tourism religious tourism and there is a growth of you know some economic activity if it is possible then these people would not like to leave their hills and their families and come to cities so it's very important this development is necessary but a development as you mentioned has to keep in mind the fragile ecology because we have seen whenever the natural disasters have struck uttarakhand it has often been a warning it has opened our eyes to the fact that sometimes unchecked development can cause a great human disaster but the other point which you also mentioned is ever since modi ji became prime minister all the centers of faith and which have been there from ancient times these are being developed with pride these are being seen as very important whether it is ayodhya you mentioned about the deep utsav on the occasion of deepavali where more than lines like dias were lit on the banks of sarayu river in ayodhya it's a very significant uh, you know moment in many people's lives that these centers of faith are being developed the very important point the prime minister mentioned that how he personally supervises the progress of construction of these projects and he mentioned the use of technology he mentioned the use of drone technology that with the help of drone he is able to actually see the progress of uh, different projects so i think the whole idea is that not only it should bring development of that region but also we should be able to take pride in our heritage and our the virasat that we have got and also we must realize that this virasat this ancient heritage has deep spiritual message for us today the prime minister quoted from his sagracharya nirvana ashtakam to say that there is no jat there is no divisions of human mind which are plaguing the society they have no place we have to think of welfare for all we have to think of progress of all i think the famous stanza shivoham shivoham there is nothing but shivoham the state of bliss which comes when you think of shiva pervading everywhere and shikhar we also know that uttarakhand has got a recently a new chief minister in mr dhami 
and prime minister said the kind of discipline shown by uttarakhand in the fight against corona virus is also very commendable shikhar one other thing is that you know when we talk of unplanned development you hinted towards that you know is regular illegal encroachments and those are the examples which come to mind whenever a natural disaster takes place in a hilly state like uttarakhand or say himachal pradesh that people had encroached this river or stream was not flowing its natural course that is why we every year we see these when the deluge comes when the floods come we see these projects being washed away houses being washed away so when the review takes place the monitoring takes place at the highest level in the country and there is planned development i think these kind of instances will also become thing of past absolutely because once you have a very careful planned construction which keeps in mind the fragility of the ecology of the environment as you mentioned uttarakhand and even states like himachal have seen so many natural disasters which have come happened suddenly and so many lives have been lost and money spent on projects crores of money have been also lost that is why it is very necessary particularly place like kedarnath we all know what happened in 2013 when so many devotees were killed because suddenly the flash flood happened and mm-hmm. uh, the people felt and that was investigated also and they felt that somewhere along we humans are if we interfere with the course of nature then the nature is never kind that is why these all these projects require careful consideration of the ecology because yes we need development but we need development with care care for nature because if you care for nature you are caring for human lives also that is why the prime minister had personally supervised the whatever projects that have been going on in kedarnath and the fact that you know whether that is the highest thing in his mind that these places of faith these places of uh, inspiration uh, should be developed with utmost care and that they should also there should be such approach that is the cleanliness is very important because cleanliness is next to godliness which is another point the prime minister has often emphasized and uh, shikhar the work on this shankaracharya statue it began in uh, 2019 and this statue weighs around 35 tons so it is indeed uh, must have been an uphill task at carrying the statue transporting it from mysore uh, to kedarnath temple indeed uh, because uh, from whatever reports has come and you know initially they had invited people all sculptors to give model finally arun yogi raj of mysore's model was chosen prime minister himself saw to it and prime minister also gave freedom to arun yogi raj to study the all the literature available on adi shankaracharya and then go about doing whatever changes was required because this itself as the prime minister has mentioned kedarnath to prime minister is a spiritual project we must mm. appreciate this aspect because we saw in 2019 also he sat in deep meditation for a long time and all those who have gone to kedarnath they always feel inspired by the magnificent shivling there and they can feel the vibration and aura of the place which is associated with adi shankaracharya because this is considered when adi shankaracharya completed his task it is all this it did in 30 odd years and then finally when he reached kedarnath and attained the moksha and you can realize that when you visit those places you can see how these places have withstood ravages of time invasion and all that and today stand out to inspire millions of people with the message about the oneness of our existence oneness of our human society and the need to do welfare for all you know that is the point that the prime minister mentioned in his uh, address from kedarnath today and yesterday he had spent uh, with our soldiers in um, jammu kashmir and today he came here after dipavali and the prime minister mentioned uttarakhand is known as dev bhumi and the people of uttarakhand have also contributed to the armed forces and at all these important shrines which are there in uttarakhand have always held out hope and inspiration for millions of indians in different parts of our country in uh, uttarakhand chief minister pushkar singh dhami also said that prime minister's vision is to develop uttarakhand the dev bhumi as he said uh, as world spiritual and cultural capital in the years to come where people from across the globe can come to seek peace to seek solace and the natural beauty which uttarakhand offers to people from all over the world shikhar thank you very much for this discussion 
Thank you very much. You were listening to a discussion on Prime Minister's visit to Kedarnath. The participants were Shekhar Ayer, political analyst, and Vinay Kumar, journalist. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsttalks at gmail.com.